So we've completed our first part of the project, and that was the brass rod. The second part, which is the next sort of step up in, in challenge level, is we want to make the top part of our lamp. So this is our wood top, so it's made of wood, and it's measuring 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters. So what we can do is we can actually ignore this. So if we go back up to lamp assembly and activate that component, it will sort of gray out any other components. And we can actually unclick the light bulb and that will make it disappear. So now what we're gonna do, we've activated the assembly again. We're gonna create a new component and we're going to call this one wood top. Okay, our parent is selected lamp assembly. Okay, so now we're going to go to, I'm just going to turn on my grid. So my layout grid was turned off. Okay, makes it a bit easier. So I'm going to create a sketch and then go into, again, I'm going to select which plane I want to draw my sketch on. So we're going to draw it on the same one as before, X, Y. And now I'm going to create a rectangle. So for the rectangle, you can do two point rectangle. I prefer to use center rectangle. And then again, I'm gonna click on the origin. You don't have to, you can put it anywhere. And my dimensions were 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters. So you can just type in 90 and then click the tab button on your keyboard. And that will switch over to the other dimension. 90, again, hit enter. And then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So I've got 90 by 90. And at the minute, that's just a 2D sketch on the page. I can now click stop sketch. Now I want to make this uh, 3D. So I want to extrude it. So if I click on press pull, and then I select, it says select my sketch. And then you can either drag it up or I can type in the value. So our value needs to be, the thickness here is nine millimeters. So I'm gonna type in nine, hit enter. And now I've got a 3D block of wood. So the next thing I need to do is I need to drill two holes into it. So to do that, you can see here, the holes are actually on the bottom half and they only go in five millimeters. So for that, I actually need to look on the underside so if I click on my view cube here, this bottom corner, it will flip it, and now I can see the underneath of it. So for this part, what I probably want to do is I want to create a point which will act as like a, uh, a dot on the page that I can then draw my circle from. So to do that, I'm going to click create a sketch point. You need to choose which surface you're going to draw this on. So I want to click this underside, so I'm just going to select that. And then at the minute I can draw it anywhere, so let's say I draw it here, then what you can do is if you go to sketch and sketch dimension, which is D on the keyboard for a shortcut, I can then select my point, I can select this edge, and you see it turns blue, select that edge, drag it out, and I can set this at half the distance, so I need this to be, so if we look over here, you can see that it's 45 millimetres in. So if I click 45, and that will bring it down by 45 millimeters. And then if I click D again, or sketch, sketch dimension, and I choose my point and this edge, and drag it up, and this one needs to be 15. So it's actually already 15. So you can see here 15 from the center point. So that one I can just leave as it is, which now means that's perfectly lined up. Uh, I need to add one more point, so I'm going to go sketch, point again, put it over here somewhere, and then again, sketch dimension, select this top edge, drag it out, 45, and then click D again, select my point, select this edge, and again that should be 15, excellent. So now I can click stop sketch as well. I've put parameters on that and constraints, which means that they're in the correct positions. The next stage is I want to make the holes. So to do that, I'm gonna go create hole. And now it will say, 
select your face or sketch points. Okay, so I'm going to select this point and this point. Okay, you'll see at the minute it does a bit of an exaggerated holes. We obviously need to adjust that. So at the minute it has got the width of the hole, the diameter, as 30 millimeters, which is way too big. So if we look back in our sketch, it should be M5. So that's five millimeters, metric five. So I'm going to put five in here and that should automatically adjust. Then the distance down that it's going to get drilled, uh, I want that to be five millimeters. So for this one, I'm going to type in five. Oops. And then the drill point, you can put it as flat or you can put it as an angle. If we were drilling this in real life, we would have an angle on it, so we'll leave it like that. Um, and our hole, what we actually want to do here is we want to have a tapped hole. So that is where it's got a thread cut into it, like a helix, so that our brass rod can screw into it. So we're going to choose the hole type, tap type as tapped. And now you'll see, if we scroll down here, you can choose the type. So on our last one, the brass rod, we chose an M5. So actually, this has already selected it. So isometric, M5, we're good to go. So hit OK, and you'll see, if we zoom in here, you can see it's put a screw thread in the inside of it. And if you're not sure how far it's gone through, if you click the side here, we can get a side view. And you can see, if I go down to my display settings, I can change the visual style so that it's, I can change it to wireframe with hidden edges. And you can see the drill hole only goes in halfway in. Okay, I usually put mine to shaded with hidden edges. And then I go back to my home view, and you should see that that's on the underside. So both of those are done. And then the last stage is just good check, I've done everything. Yep, I've done my two holes, that's all good. My final stage is that I now want to apply a material. So I right click, physical material, and we're gonna go for wood. So I close metal. And click wood and yours might show different ones to mine so you can just pick any of them I'm going to pick um, I'm going to pick pine because I think that's the one that we're going to be using drag that onto it and you can see it now looks like wood okay that is the wood top part finished so I can now save that yep hit okay and now we've got the brass rod and we've got the wood top as two components inside of our assembly. So again, you can turn off the wood so that you can't see it anymore. Or you can turn them both back on so that you can see them.